We mourn QP members killed at work since the 2011 convention. The National Health and Safety Committee makes sure occupational health and safety stays at the top of our union's priorities. We advise the union and help develop tools to improve health and safety in all regions and sectors of QP. During the past two years, we supported organizing the 11th National Health and Safety Conference. Under the banner Defending Our Workplace, Our Environment, Our Health, more than 500 delegates were welcomed to Ottawa to participate in new workshops and hear from world-renowned speakers. We also developed a survey on the effects of working alone, began a project to compare health and safety legislation across the country, and contributed to two new health and safety workshops. We continue to promote and honor the Day of Mourning on April 28th. The challenges and opportunities that lie ahead include lobbying for the creation of a health and safety learning series, supporting the development of an advanced health and safety course, developing new tools to educate members about emerging hazards, helping develop collective agreement language that goes above and beyond occupational health and safety legislation. Over 50 years, Health and safety has been a pillar of our union's work. Sadly, too many workers are still injured or killed on the job. Our resolve to ensure all workers come home healthy and safe is as strong as ever. For more details on the committee's work, consult the full report in your kits.